Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. If we are not careful, we can go through life without truly understanding that all that we have belongs to God. We are merely stewards of it all. It all belongs to Him and is all for His glory. Reading today from 1 Chronicles 11 through 15, and the verse of the day is 1 Chronicles 14, verse 2. David realized that the Lord had established him as king over Israel and that his kingdom was highly exalted for the sake of his people, Israel. In context, David has just become king over Israel. And here in chapter 14, after the ark has been brought back to Israel, David is overwhelmed with the realization that he is in fact king over all Israel. He walked through 15 years of being chased by Saul and through much adversity, and finally the moment is here. But I love how David's realization is not just about his position, but about the purpose of that position. We can lose sight of the fact that any talent we have is from God alone, and it is for His glory alone. And this realization by David is so key to us as well. Any favor we have from God, any ability or talent or position, it's not for our glory. It is so others might know God. We are signposts. Recently, we talked about that here on the Bible tribe of God's grace, but sometimes we can get distracted by man's praise. This is when corruption can happen, and we've seen it happen with the the kings of Israel and Judah. God's blessings and God's favor are never about us. They are about reaching others so that they might know God too. I chose the key word realized, which is the Hebrew word yadach, And it means to acknowledge, to recognize. When we recognize and see God's hand in our lives, we are more apt to stay on mission. Thought of the day, our position is a mission. Where does God have you positioned for his kingdom? No position is too small for the purposes of God. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Joel.